Therapy speak is the orc talk of the moderns. Canaan was a land filled with giants. The invasion of Canaan was a war of giant killing and a type of the giant killing gospel. Giant killing is a motif throughout scripture. We all know the story of David and Goliath, but it must also be seen as part of a larger ongoing war on giants. In the New Testament, Christ bound the strong man. What we find in the life and death of Jesus Christ is not an example of a godly giant fighting off a puny devil. Rather, Christ became one of us, and as a son of David, he bound and defeated the Goliath of that age. Christ takes all the strong man's armor, his panoply, and divides his spoil. The Christian faith is a religion of world conquest. Are the giants who confront us big enough to qualify as giants? And have we taught our sons what they are supposed to do when they grow up? Part of fulfilling the Great Commission invokes climbing the beanstalk. Douglas Wilson, Future Men. There is good reason for our long-standing literary tradition of giant killing and dragon slaying. These motifs are common in Christian writing because they are anchored in ancient sacred scripture. We were made to slay serpents and to cut giants down to size. God raises up Grendels as he raises up Beowulfs. He writes a dragon into the story, but never without a St. George to slay him. Christians are a race of dragon fighters. Our sons are born to this. Someone ought to tell them. Douglas Wilson, Future Men. We need to tell our children these stories, not because we need them to believe in dragons and giants, but because we need them to believe in dragon slayers and giant killers. Fairy tales do not give the child his first idea of the bogey. What fairy tales give the child is his first clear idea of the possible defeat of the bogey. The baby has known the dragon intimately ever since he had an imagination. What the fairy tale provides for him is a St. George to kill the dragon. G.K. Chesterton, Tremendous Trifles. Without the legends, we are left with just the dragons. We know the dragon from birth, from within, and from without. But we have no hope of seeing either of them dethroned, unless we're told the stories. Tyranny is understood intuitively. Liberty is only learned through storytelling. Dragon lore is truer than therapy speak. Douglas Wilson, Future Men. Fairy tales have a firmer grasp on reality than Freud. If we don't read the right kind of stories, we will lose our place and our page. We won't find truth within, but we can find it up at Beanstalk. Lounging on a couch has nothing on logers, and if you only have an hour, spend time with the Pendragon instead of with positive thinking. Therapy speak is merely the orc talk of the moderns.